Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the alternate forms of pull-ups. In the previous video, I have explained you about the pull-up and pull-down device. What do you mean by pull-up and what do you mean by pull-down? Pull-up is the device which makes the output to logic high. Okay, we will write once more. Pull-up device makes the output logic high. That means when the pull up when the pull up transistor is in on state, the output becomes logic high. Output is equal to one. That is, uh, what are the different forms of this pull up device? Okay, uh, in the pull down transistor, we always use NMOS transistor, enhancement mode NMOS transistor that I told you in the last video. The pull down transistor must be always pull down transistor. must be always enhancement mode NMOS transistor okay in the pull down transistor we always use enhancement mode and most transistor but what about the pull up device pull up device we can use different different types of devices they are but in pull up we can use first one we can use a load resistor a resistor as a load so we can use a load resistor and the second one is we can use enhancement mode and mass transistor and depletion mode and mass transistor and mass transistor in depletion mode and and mass transistor in enhancement mode and the fourth one is we can use a pmos transistor a PMOS transistor okay these are the different different cases that are existed to design an inverter so which is using a load resistor which can be designed using a depletion mode and mass transistor or it may be enhancement mode and mass transistor or it may be using a PMOS transistor now let us see one by one individually so first one is with a resistor load okay so a load resistor load resistor rl load resistor rl okay so how to design this just in place of pull up we are having the load resistor that's it except remaining all is same this is the load resistor rl input here is the place we are taking the output it is the VDD okay so now this act as a load resistor RL now let us see the operation of this device whether it is working as inverted or not so when in is equal to 0 volts then what is the output when v in is equal to 0 see here rl is not a switching component rl is a resistor so always it flows it allows the current through it always it allows the current through it but whether the transistor if v in is on state then the current goes to 0 if v in is equal to off state then the current goes to output so nmos enhancement mode transistor it is nmos transistor so nmos transistor what is the status it is in off state so as this transistor is in off state, the current will be having a flow from the VDD to the output. So output becomes logic high, nothing but VDD. 
when input is equal to VDD, what happens? NMOS transistor becomes on. When input is equal to VDD, here it is having a sufficient voltage as it is as the input voltage is greater than threshold voltage, NMOS transistor comes into on state. Then as the transistor is in on state, there is a static current flow from VDD to the ground. So no output current. <coughs> Always current chooses the low resistance path. That's why output becomes zero. Output becomes zero. Okay, that means see the input and output. So it acts as inverter. It acts as inverter. Now coming to the second case. Second case is nothing but NMOS depletion mode transistor. NMOS depletion mode transistor. Already we have studied this concept in the previous video where the NMOS inverter has been created. See in the depletion mode transistor we know the channel is already created. Now in the pull up place we need to use that depletion mode transistor and in the pull down place always fixed that is nothing but NMOS enhancement mode. <coughs> It is the depletion mode transistor where the channel needs to be indicated. Gate and drain are short circuited for making this as a low resistance. And this is the V out. And this is the VDD. It is VN. Okay. So NMOS transistor which is a depletion mode type and it is NMOS transistor which is enhancement mode type. <coughs> now if we know the operation when input is equal to 0 volts when input is equal to 0 enhancement mode NMOS transistor enhancement mode NMOS transistor of so output is equal to VDD because depletion mode transistor is always in on state as it is having channel and when input is equal to VDD NMOS enhancement mode transistor comes into on state then V out is equal to 0 volts okay this is the inverter operation now let us see the transfer characteristics between input and output for this uh, NMOS inverter with a depletion mode transistor. Okay, I will write here. input this is the output so the transfer characteristics between these two for this NMOS inverter this is VDD as the transistor when input is equal to 0 it is having output VDD but as it is a depletion mode transistor the drop across the depletion mode transistor is very low that's why it is having very nearer curves at this point and as the input increases slowly the output goes down and goes to this level only this is a non-zero output this is known as a non-zero output okay until this transistor NMOS transistor comes into saturation region enhancement mode transistor comes into saturation region there is no current here no current and from here onwards current flows okay this is what the characteristics of the enhancement mode uh, sorry depletion mode and mass transistor and the third one is NMOS enhancement mode 
nmos enhancement mode device so how this enhancement mode nmos transistor will be there is no channel so definitely we should give input Sorry, there is no channel for this one. <coughs> Both transistors are of NMOS uh, enhancement mode. It is VDD and this is VSS or ground. This is the output so now in is connected to the nmos transistor in enhancement mode which is in the pull down place okay this is also nmos transistor enhancement mode which is in the pull up place now what should we give here the input should be VDD because the transistor which is connected in the pull up place always in on state. It should not have any switching actions. Keep this point in mind. The pull up transistor which we connect here, it should not have any switching actions. That's why we are giving a constant uh, input for this one, making the transistor on. Okay. So this is VDD and make the transistor on. And what about the remaining actions when input is equal to zero? When input is equal to 0, what happens? NMOS transistor in the pull up or pull down, pull down. NMOS transistor in the pull down device becomes off. So output is equal to VDD because pull up transistor is in on state. When input is equal to, when input is equal to VDD, what about this NMOS transistor? NMOS transistor in an enhancement mode, which is a pull down transistor on state, then V out is equal to 0 volts. There is a static current flow between VDD and ground. Let us see the transfer characteristics between these two input and output. Here, this is the VDD line when input is equal to 0 output is equal to VDD but uh, the enhancement mode and most transistor is having a drop across this transistor like a threshold voltage that's why below this threshold voltage the output starts flowing so this gap is nothing but threshold voltage threshold voltage of which one threshold voltage of the pull up transistor because the output is not completely logic high okay and here it is the non zero output because of the enhancement mode um, and most transistor in the pull down place non zero output it is having some draws uh, some drop across this transistor and the last case is last case is pmos as a pull down pmos as pull up pmos as pull up <coughs> that means when pmos transistor is connected as a pull up and nmos transistor is connected as pull down we call that structure as cmos this is the output pmos device input pmos transistor and it is the nmos transistor which are in enhancement modes so now we know the operation of this cmos inverter very well when input is equal to zero what happens pmos transistor here the switching action should be there in both the transistors previous three cases we have no switching actions but now in these uh, cmos inverter we have switching action for both the transistors because both are active transistors so PMOS <coughs> comes into on state and NMOS comes into off state.
okay and v out becomes now what happens to the v out v out is equal to vdd and coming to the second case when input is equal to vdd what about the pmos transistor pmos transistor comes into off state and nmos transistor comes into on state then v out is equal to 0 volts as the nmos transistor is in on state output is connected to ground so output equal to 0 so if you draw the transfer characteristics of these two sorry if you draw the transfer characteristics of this pmos and nmos v in v out this is the vdd the transfer characteristics has exact or almost ideal characteristics of this inverter where we will be having very less voltage drops at this uh, output vdd when output is equal to vdd and as well as when output is equal to zero it is having very less voltage drops because of the characteristics of enhancement modes of the pmos and as well as nmos okay so in this region p and n both are on okay sorry p is on n is off p is on n is off in the first region and in the second region or we can say in this particular region both transistor are on and in the last region we will be having n is on and p is off okay this that's why n is on output equal to 0 p is off and as p is on output is equal to vdd these are the different types of forms of pull-ups we have so that the inverters are going to be constructed thank you